Rory! I know, it's so dumb. Whatever. So how do I explain the transition into parenthood? It's like before I had a baby, I wanted to live and so I did. And now that I have baby, I don't want to live, but I have to live for my baby. I'm going to probably put a laugh track in to make this less sad and less about suicide. <laughs> suicide is not funny, but talking about your willingness to live is kind of funny. Life's been hard. I thought I was adulting pretty hard before baby was born. I ate right, I worked out, I have a loving relationship with my husband, I have great friends, family. My Yeah, I guess I didn't really know what I was doing with my career. I still don't, but it's like moo point. It's not a big deal. But they said that adding a baby into the mix would be like the exclamation mark on your happy ending. It's such a lie. Don't believe people, it's a huge conspiracy. After having a baby, I feel the world lied to me, gaslighted me, told me that having a child would only make my relationship stronger with my husband, and that being a mother is the most joy you'll ever feel. Which is kind of true, but also they didn't acknowledge all the pain you feel from being a parent. The struggle of being chronically tired all the time, finding adequate help, worrying about your child's safety. Lots of things about being a parent that I really didn't know. I mean, a part of that is probably my fault because I didn't listen to the people that were trying to tell me that things were not that starry-eyed. But I think also a part of that is how Hollywood and Pinterest romanticizes parenthood. A part of me feels sad <laughs> to be a mom. To be frank, it's not easy. I'm gonna be doing this for 18 years and yes, things will get better, but in a way, they also transition into different challenges. It's not like it's ever going to be the way it used to be. And that is really upsetting. <laughs> I miss my old life. I, I really do. I had a good life before I had baby. And obviously, to be emotionally intelligent about it, I don't blame my child for the life it takes to raise a child. It's not her fault at all. <laughs> I wanted to have unprotected sex with my husband to make a child, so obviously I had some skin in the game, literally. <laughs> obviously it's on me, but I think a part of it is also on society for making me believe that this was going to be the joyous thing in my life and that I think I would have been more prepared and I would have had lower expectations which would have made me adjust to parenthood a lot better if people would just tell it like it is. And I know it's a very complicated situation and a lot of people don't want to talk about it because of they might make people believe that it's their child's fault. There, It is very close to home, so talking about it from your child is probably not the best thing once they're cognitive of what's going on. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't talk about it to uh, other adults and a therapist or, you know, other people so we can acknowledge the pain we're going through and maybe find help. I think uh, another huge thing about parenthood would be, I think with mothers in particular, is that there's so much shame and judgment with motherhood. It's crazy. Like, you can't express any emotion that isn't joy. And people would be very upset at you for expressing it. And I think that's really sad. I think it's sad for people who feel like they can't talk to anyone about it. I feel like it's sad that a lot of people are in denial that this shit's hard as fuck. Um, I think it's also sad for people who want to acknowledge it and find someone to connect with through this crazy journey that is parenthood. So I think it's just sad for everyone. <laughs> and isn't that kind of life? <laughs>
I think one of the biggest things that disappointed me after becoming a mother was that I couldn't talk to everyone about it. I would try to talk to someone about the issues. People would ask me how I'm doing, so I kind of tell them how I'm doing, which is not so great sometimes. And I think telling people that and seeing how they reacted was very stark different. I would talk to some people and they'd be like, but isn't motherhood wonderful? Isn't this the love you've always felt? I think I was telling my uncle that I miss having quality time with my husband. And he was like, actually, this is the most quality time you will have because you're eventually going to chauffeur your child around and never see your, your significant other. Like, I don't know why people feel like they want to debate with you with how you're feeling. This is not a debate. <laughs> this is how I'm feeling. And I just want a little acknowledgement. I want you to just listen to what I'm saying as opposed to telling me, no, I'm wrong because of X, Y, Z. So like if I say parenthood is hard, someone will come back and tell me, but isn't this the most joy you've ever felt? Like, this is not a debate. <laughs> I know how much I love my child. I love my child so much. Just watching her is amazing and I am in love with her. I actually love her more than I love my husband. I love her more than I love anything in the whole wide world. So yes, I know all that stuff, but I need a space with adults to talk shit about the shittiness of parenthood without someone telling me to feel the opposite way. Moving on. And I think that it's interesting to talk to other mothers that don't want to acknowledge the pain and the bullshit of the chaos of parenthood. And I, it's weird to talk to people like that because I'm like, this is probably where the shame comes from. And I'm sure that they also feel a lot of shame, but this room makes me feel like I live in the twilight zone. Am I living in a different reality where I have all this pain and no one else feels this pain and that most people look like Pinterest-y and they feel Pinterest-y and they, some mothers really depict parenthood and family life to be like that. And I'm just like, that's not real. <laughs> I guess it just makes me feel kind of alone in my struggles and that I'm the crazy one and I should be feeling just as amazing as these people. I think that's been a, a big issue for me after becoming a mom because I definitely need to find a group that I can feel comfortable talking about my my problems with and it was hard to do because I think it was very painful for me when I felt like I couldn't talk about all these things. These things. <laughs> these negative things, these negative feelings to other people. I think there's something particular about parenthood where it's like you can complain about everything else in life. You can complain about work, you can complain about your husband, you can complain about love, you can complain about sex, you can complain about school, you can complain about anything in life traffic, weather, etc. But when you complain about parenthood, people just want to shut you down. And it's fucked up because it's like, why can you complain about everything else but parenthood, which is the most pain I've ever felt and not because of my daughter. My daughter is amazing. She's the best thing that ever happened. But the child rearing activities can be boring. It could be uh, exhausting. It could be very hard to have a baby scream at you when she's super fussy. All of these things are very hard things and to not be able to complain about it is kind of suffocating. I feel, what do you feel? <laughs> I wonder if everyone feels the same way. The internet is a very judgmental, critical place. So I'm sure a lot of trolls and judgmental mothers are gonna be like, how dare you have emotions other than joy? And I'll be like, I'm a human, you know? This shit is more complex than we let on. Child rearing is hard stuff. So yeah, I don't like all of it. Shit's hard. <laughs> So what I thought motherhood would be like is very interesting. So do you know that one triangle in college? I think it was like good grades or like a successful profession basically, right? And adequate sleep and a good social life. So there's, it's a triangle three and when you're in college, you can pick two, but then when you 
go to grad school, you can pick only one to be good at, right? When you become a mom, you can pick none. <laughs> you don't get sleep, you don't have a social life, and you don't have a profession anymore. You're just mom. Very sacrificial. I think it's also sad if you feel like this. I feel like all women feel like this, that they have to add at the end of any complaint that they love their child. I do it too, I can't help it. It's like, I need to justify that I'm still a great mother. I'm still always gonna be there for my child. I'm still empathetic, patient, understanding, trying my best, reading all about parenthood, you know, etc. But I also want to say that this shit sucks. Like, it's not great. I didn't think I would be doing so much for my child. And I need a place to vent about it. And I think it's so sad that women feel like they have to say at the end of any complaint, anything negative, that they love their child. Of course they love their child. No shit you love your child. You're a mother. It's You're not a father. If you didn't love your child as a father, you would leave. <laughs> you can walk out the door anytime. And that is what lots of fathers do, but mothers don't do that. We don't leave our child. So already you can tell that we have so much love for our child, that it's unfathomable about how much love we have for our child. But that doesn't mean this shit isn't hard. This shit's fucking hard. So it, it kind of puts us in a hard place when you feel like you can't talk about it, when you don't feel safe enough to talk about the shitty parts of parenthood, obviously to other adults, but not around your child. But like, it, it's so sad when you don't feel like you have a space to say any of that, and then you have to say all this other stuff about how parenthood is beautiful. Um, I think it also kind of gaslights everyone else that wants to have children. They don't, they're not prepared to have a child. They don't know the shit that they need to do, what they, they need to lower their expectations of having a child. And I feel like it's also sad for the person that has no outlet because in the end they, they suffer and their child suffers because one, they're not acknowledging their pain and two, they can't find a solution for their problem because they didn't acknowledge that there was a problem in the first place. <laughs> Here are a few things that I do now that I'm a mom. Food-wise, this is how I prepare food. I always use an Instapot if I'm cooking. I cook a lot of food, I freeze a lot of food, and I use a lot of freezer vegetables. Now I only eat frozen vegetables and it's kind of sad, but it's essential for living and and also I make overnight oats. I think I've been eating that for nine months. Like that's all I eat for breakfast because one, it's the easiest thing to make and two, I don't have to think about what I will eat for breakfast, which is so sad. Like this is like next level pain, I think. I think I've never appreciated my life before having a baby, you know. How can you? You don't know the struggle. So I didn't know that I wouldn't have a warm cup of coffee. I didn't know that I would be eating the same shit for nine months because it's the easiest thing to do. And yeah, I get so tired of it, but what am I gonna do? Because it's easy. <laughs> I don't have sex anymore. I don't have fun anymore. I'm tired and bored constantly. I'm a little bitch when it comes to sleep. Like, I I thought I could handle it, but I'm, I'm just a little bitch. Everyone is. Sleep is essential, guys. It takes a village to raise a child, and we are only two people. And it's not like my husband doesn't help out. He helps out a lot. I mean, most husbands these days do help out a lot. And she goes to daycare, but I'm still chronically tired. This is a marathon. It's like, this is like next level crazy. I don't know why people have children. It's a lot. Don't have children. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. I feel like I'm the advocate for like telling people that if they don't want to have children, then they shouldn't have children because I wish I knew that. I wish I could tell my younger self that. And again, it's not like I regret that my daughter is around. I love her. It's just that I wish I had more help. I wish the government assisted us. I wish we had daycare services provided by the government. I wish we had employers be more flexible with work schedules. I wish we had more family leave. You know, I wish we were Sweden, basically.
It's so funny, before I, I started filming this, um, I saw a couple of my mom friends downstairs and they were like, you look so good today. And I was like, don't worry, I feel like how you look. And we all laughed. <laughs> Cause this shit's hard. It's so hard. This shit's exhausting. I think everyone feels like this. I don't think I'm alone. I'm exhausted. Yeah, it's, it's really hard. I know I talk a lot about the problems of and issues of parenthood. It, it's hard, but there are definitely some positives from becoming a mom. I feel so much more connected to the universe. I have less time in the day and I'm utterly exhausted, but when I do have time, I am very purposeful about my time. I think now that I'm a mom, I spend less time caring about other people's needs because I have to care about my child's needs and my own needs. I need to fight for my needs now that I'm a mom. So in a way, it's been very eye-opening. I've definitely expanded and I'm more emboldened to follow my path, my own individual path, as opposed to listening to the bullshit that society tells you to do. So that's kind of nice. Obviously, the love I have for my daughter is amazing. It's relentless, but it's still amazing. I've never felt so much love for anything in my entire life. I'll do anything for her. She's the love of my life. So yeah, there are some perks, but a lot of it is still mucky. Do I regret parenthood? Absolutely. <laughs> All the time. I mean, not all the time, but a lot of the time I regret becoming a mom. Regret is an interesting thing. There's this famous philosopher, if you guys watch The School of Life, I watch it religiously. There's a famous philosopher that's like, no matter what you do, you'll regret it. Sometimes. If you decide to marry this guy, you'll regret it. If you decide to marry this other guy, you'll regret it. If you decide to have children, you'll regret it. If you decide not to have children, you'll regret it. If you decide to kill yourself, you'll regret it. If you decide not to kill yourself, you'll regret it. No matter what you do, you will regret it. So it's kind of sad that there's so much backlash on the internet for moms that say that they regret parts of parenthood. It's just something you feel. Everyone regrets it sometimes. It's just natural. It's like, this shit is hard. It's, it's hard enough to say that you regret it, but having backlash on the internet from these other moms is just fucked up, man. It's like you shouldn't feel guilty for your feelings. You should just feel what you feel and let it pass through you. And then that's how you kind of get over it. But if you hide it in yourself, then obviously it stays with you. So being able to put it on paper, being able to talk to a therapist about it, being able to say it freeingly, without saying that you ever regret that your child exists. You don't regret that they exist. You regret that you had a child in an environment where you needed more help and you didn't get it. That's what you regret. You regret that it takes a village to have a child and you don't have a village because of the way the nuclear family is set up. The way we expect grandparents to take care of the children, but you don't know if the grandparents are around. The fact that daycare costs so much that some people just rather stay at home, but the fact that the government doesn't assist you. So yeah, we don't regret having our child. If it takes a village, we wish we lived in the village. We regret that we didn't know that it was gonna be so hard and that maybe we would have made different choices knowing that it was gonna be so hard. And I think there should be some acknowledgement about that because maybe that will spark some change, maybe in society but who knows, this is a small channel. I doubt I'm gonna spark any change. <laughs> Obviously, I feel very passionate about this. <laughs> There's a lot of pain in what I feel. <laughs> I think a part of it is that we romanticize the struggle and the sacrifice it takes to be a mother and a father, but that's bullshit. We should not romanticize it. We should just tell it like it is, and then people can make their choice if they really want to still be a parent. I would say this is extremely hard and extremely rewarding, but I was definitely happier before I became a mother, but I was definitely less fulfilled. Would I go back to the way it used to be? Yes, <laughs> because even though I was less fulfilled and wandering aimlessly, I was happy and I love being happy. So that was nice. The universe has its own path for me and this is the path that 
I was meant to go on, but I, I was happier before. I'm okay with admitting that. It's fine. It doesn't change the fact that I'm gonna be a mom. It doesn't change the fact that I'm gonna be the best mom I'm gonna try to be. It doesn't change the fact that I love my daughter to death. It's still what it is. I was much happier beforehand. There are so many statistics about it, and yet it's so frowned upon to talk about. It's like in Germany, they did a statistic. They talk about how much they never regret being a parent, but then they also talked about how their, their happiness has decreased. Decreased more than if you lost your job. Decreased more than if your lover died. I think there was another one. Be having a child will decrease your happiness by like so much. Like more than losing your lover. Like from to death. <laughs> it's totally normal to feel unhappy after having a child. You have less sleep. You are strung up, you have more work, you have less fun, you have less sex, you have like less time with your husband, you're fighting more with your husband, you're worse at your job. There are just so many things that crumble when you have to deal with child rearing. But there's no acknowledgement that this shit is hard and you could be unhappy. You're supposed to only feel joy, which is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I understand that some people feel the need to use this coping mechanism, which is called cognitive dissonance. I, I don't cope that way. I cope by letting out my feelings <laughs> and like telling people how I really feel about the situation. Mom shaming is kind of ridiculous. I wish, I feel like women are our worst enemy. And I hate that because I love women and I think it's crazy how we attack each other all the time. It's next level when it comes to mom shaming. <laughs> it's like, who gives a fuck if you breastfeed or if you bottle feed or if you use formula? Who fucking cares? Just feed your fucking kid. We're all doing the best we can. Parent the way you want to parent. Don't tell me how to parent. I won't tell you how to parent and we will be good, okay? Just do what you want. There's a reason why the universe gave you a child and that child is in your life. They're teaching you something and you're teaching them something. So just parent the way you, you feel like you should parent. Don't listen to other people's bullshit. Don't tell people what to do. And I think everyone would be much happier, you know? Like leave your opinions and judgments where they belong, in your head. Thank you. And I also think there's just something about mom shaming that's just awful. Like, I, I, I don't know why. I love women and I wish women could be nicer to more women. Like, moms should definitely be nicer to themselves and to other moms. Because this shit's already so hard. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna leave soon to go to therapy, so yay for me. Everyone should go to therapy. It's amazing. Changes my life. Here are some bullshit things that parents say to tell you how it's like without actually telling you what it's like. I wrote them down so I'm gonna use my phone. I love my child more than anything means I don't have time to love anything else anymore. My child is the only good thing in my life means child rearing has taken everything good in my life and my child is literally the only thing that is good that is left. There's never a dull moment means there's always destruction and chaos in the house. My children are my purpose in life means I have no rational reason to have them so I'll change my values to fit my irrational decisions. Enjoy your life means I wish I enjoyed mine before parenthood took it from me. <laughs> you will never sleep again means you will never feel rested again. Because now that I, I, I sleep train my kid, I sleep eight hours every day, but I'm still exhausted because I work 16 hours a day. Yes, it's relentless. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe, like, share, because I don't have social media, because I need to protect my mental health as much as possible, because parenthood's relentless and yeah, I cannot share with my friends and family, which I actually don't want them to watch because this is embarrassing. All right, thanks you guys. Okay, bye.